guys welcome back to my channel today again we're seeing Ty Lopez and his first ever NFT collection he released just yesterday now if we head over to his website we can already see some of the outrageous prices he is charging so you may think for these experiences costing 25k 100k fifty thousand dollars you must get a really cool experience well if we click into one here this is a one-on-one -on -one movie watch with Ty now what does this include this means that once a year over the course of three years you can watch a two-hour movie with him of his choice and you could maybe you know chat a little bit before and a little bit after maybe maybe during the credits and during the the ending scenes you can chat a little bit to him now this means roughly you'll be spending about six hours of Thai, and that's going to set you back minimum twenty five thousand dollars and maximum fifty thousand dollars these are outrageous prices that he's already charging this is one of the other products Thai lopez is offering and it's a one-on-one -on -one michelin star restaurant with Thai. so what this means is that once a year over the course of three years you can get one two hour meal of them each year and this is going to set you back a minimum fifty thousand dollars maximum a hundred thousand dollars and one thing that i really enjoyed about this one in particular was the video so if you click on the video now you may be confused why is he talking about the nba why is he talking about basketball over him over uh when he's offering you a michelin star dinner well it's because he's completely put the wrong video in the wrong section he's talking about a different nft that he's that he's released but he's put it in the wrong section so you're spending fifty thousand dollars over someone who can't even understand where to put the right video you know it really is crazy this price is he's charging and one thing that i find really strange about this is that he used a, a reversing a reverse dutch auction which means that it started at 21 ETH and it went all the way up to 43 ETH. Now I didn't really understand what the purpose of this was so I looked online and I found this article and you can see here in the blue it's it's almost kind of for paying back customers this is you so people if people want some kind of compensation they'll only accept it when it gets to a high enough price but he's doing it the other way around and what I think this is by Thai is it's a way to kind of create this feeling of missing out if you know the price is going to start really low and you know what well, everyone's going to want to buy then because it's the lowest it kind of creates this like oh I should buy really quickly then before before everything sells out, which I don't think is a fair system to use. And this is offered by Tidy's NFTs just keep going and going. There's so many of them, all outrageously priced. This one here, you get a one on one FaceTime with Tiny. Now, you may think, oh, this could be quite useful, but you get five minutes FaceTime session. You get one FaceTime session per year. So that means you get overall 15 minutes with Ty, and it's going to set you back around about $9,000 all the way up to $18,000. And it's just more than this. There's a, access to his WhatsApp number. It's not even his real number, it's his WhatsApp number. Now this means you can ask him only one question per month and it's going to set you back a minimum $50,000 all the way up to $100,000. And you do actually get to ask him a lot of questions, but any entrepreneur, anyone in this sort of business area would not suggest investing $100,000 in this. They'd say invest it into yourself, invest it into your business. Not through asking Ty Lopez's 36 questions. And there's more of these, you know, the experience of in a nightclub. I don't know how you can really talk to someone and, you know, get to understand businesses in a, in a loud nightclub for two hours, but he's offering this. You get a game of basketball with him. You get to have a, have a gym workout with him. So this one, this one made me laugh. It's a 7.2 ETH, which means it's around about $18,000 and you get a two hour gym workout of him once per year over the course of three years. So you're just paying for a gym workout and he tries to make it sound all fancy in this paragraph here saying oh he's invested a million dollars into finding a perfect fitness regime but you can find really good regimes online and also he doesn't promise to give you some sort of plan at the end which you can use for yourself it's it's just it really is unacceptable a private jet trip again he's gonna say back minimum 50k maximum 100k and this one made me laugh as well this is uh you get two this is a priced at 4.56 so that's about that's about twelve thousand dollars roughly and what that is means you get two pairs of signed shoes by Ty Lopez each year. So that means you get six pairs of shoes overall for around about 12 grand. This this is outrageous pricing. Hold any of these black cards. If you scroll down a bit, now Ty might say, oh, you got all these 10 other amazing bonuses. But just going through them quickly, you get free automatic whitelist, which basically means if Ty releases an NFT in the future, it means you have the right to buy that NFT. So you're still going to be paying him even more money. Uh, hotels and restaurants he's sort of saying that he's going to make own restaurants for nft holders and own hotels for nft holders but one thing that i found quite funny is that if you look at down here the daily room cost for the room is additional and the hotel or restaurant foods and the hotel restaurant food expenses are also additional so he's basically saying you can stay at the hotel 
but you're not for staying it for free. You have to pay to stay at his hotel. You have to pay to eat at his restaurant. So all it does is get you access to these sort of events and these venues, but you still have to pay all the money. So you're just giving more and more money to him by owning his NFTs. You get free access to this OG con, but I searched up what OG con even was, and you search it up and nothing comes up. This is a completely new event created by Ty and something you know that he's never delivered on before. Again, these access to these nightclubs, and luckily in this one, he's waived the waived the access price. But you still have to pay. Uh, you still have to pay for all the drinks that you have within the club. And then these just ones that are a little smaller one. Basically, you get access to some of his online courses, which I don't think are very good anyway. You get all this information for free on YouTube, and you can join these exclusive Discord, which just won't be very good. And you can join the Zoom things, but. Again, the amount you're paying for these NFTs up to $100,000 for the stuff you get back is just not worth it. Black cards. You may think, well, I've paid $100,000, that's it, that's all the money gone. But the holder is responsible for all travel to and from location that any hotel stays needed. So it's saying that even if you spend $100,000 to move Thai for two hours over the course of three years, then you still have to pay for hotel expenses and flights every single one of these years. Now, Funnily enough, one of these clips, this is during when Ty was releasing his NFTs just yesterday, he was live streaming. And this is what he said. He was saying about the German education system. And just listen for yourself. So what Ty Lopez is almost saying is here that the German education system created a bunch of people just listen to things and then that created World War and War Two. And then he's saying that it didn't create entrepreneurs, also implying that, you know, entrepreneurs wouldn't be like this in all the world. If all, if all the world was entrepreneurs, war would never happen. So so what's my overall conclusion on Ty Lopez NFT set as well? I think the prices that he is charging of some of these NFTs is just simply outrageous. You know, he's He's a businessman in the day. He's trying to make money, so he can claim he's not, but really he is. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure you hit the subscribe button if you enjoyed, and look out for new videos soon. Peace.